Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aries. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Aries. If you'd like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, if you choose to, you can ask me a question in the comments section, and I will make a tarot video for you answering that question. I want to apologize in advance for any background noise you may hear due to the dog snoring. All right, I scurried the crystal ball for you today before starting the video, and the image that showed up for you was a woman, and she was very kind of like distant, and I could make out some of her features, you know, just like the outline of her, and it gave me like the Virgin Mary type uh, energy, and she was holding a Vitex uh, branch in her hand, and that symbolizes, you know, she was holding it towards her chest, that symbolizes like purity and chastity. And then there was this beautiful, um, there's just like this beautiful like glow about her. And then to the left of her though was this uh, like very low vibrational looking goat. It looked very uh, demonic and it was like to the left of her. So this could represent that you have uh, some type of like demonic energy that could possibly, you know, be within your life that is like trying to target you. Now the next thing that I saw was this like very large owl and the owl symbolizes your third eye being open and to rely on your intuition because that is jesus communicating to you now the next um image that showed up was the letter b it was a capital b excuse the dog shifting everything in the background it was a letter b so capital b as in bear so with that showing up you know that could be your the first letter of your name or initial of your name, you know, take it how it resonates, or it could be the person that you are like being warned about because there is like a uh, demonic energy that's trying to come towards you. But all in all, you are divinely protected because you have the Virgin Mary there with you. Now, the next, oh, I'm sorry, the first card to come out for you today is the Queen of Swords. So, with the Queen of Swords being here, this is your energy where you are like on guard. I feel like you're prepared for this negative energy. When you see it coming, you kind of like cut it down. You have it removed out of your life. And I feel like you're on guard. You're prepared for this. You know, you might've been fighting this battle for a long time already. Next card out for you is the eight of wands. So with the eight of wands being here, you know, this is representing a fast communication that's coming towards you. So with the fast communication coming towards you, you're going to be hearing about some type of abundance, you know, something in regards to finances where this is be like a financial uh, stability and, you know, all good things and earthly matters that's going to be coming to you here with the nine of coins. Now, the next card out for you is the wheel of fortune. So with the wheel of fortune being here, this is representing fate and destiny It is your destiny to have this abundance. So that's a beautiful energy that's coming through for you. Now, the next card out for you is the um bible verse is but to all who believed him and accepted him he gave the right to become children of god so that's a beautiful message that is coming through for you that card has been coming out a lot lately now the next card out for you is brother raccoon a safe place for you to go so with this card coming out it's letting you know that you have the right to you know have a place that is safe for you to go and meditate you know, this could be like having an altar within your home or going into nature, you know, whatever it is for you that makes you feel safe. You know, it's letting you know to have that safe haven for yourself, especially with these demonic energies that could be going around you. You know, it's good to have a, a break and have that type of like um, peace and meditation. Sorry if the lighting is kind of messing up a bit. Now, the next card out for you is the wing one trust. So with the wing one trust being here, it's letting you know to trust in Jesus, you know, trust in knowing that God is going to help you with whatever situation that comes your way. With this card coming out, letting you know that the birds, you know, don't gather, you know, things like we do, you know, they are provided for, you know, God, you know, gives them all their resources that they need. They trust that the wind will be there beneath their wings and, you know, they are supplied all their food. So it's just letting you know to trust in Jesus and know that he is there with you every step of the way. And the next card out for you is Burdox Detoxify. So with the Burdox Detoxify card coming out, it's letting you know to release anything that no longer serves you. It's letting, asking if you are overly attached to another person. Are you stuck in a difficult situation that drains your energy? And it's also letting you know that if this could be a possible physical, you know, toxic person or job or place that you could feel like you're stuck you know 
in. You know, this could be, you know, dealing with uh, narcissistic individuals that are constantly draining you or working in a place that is no longer the right energy for you. And it's letting you know to release that, release what no longer serves you. And the burdocks has lots of medicinal benefits. It could clear away waste products from the body. The root is used for purifying the blood and boosting the immune system and promoting clear, healthy skin and also helping the lymph system. So all in all, I see a really good reading here for you. Just be aware of these demonic energies that could be trying to, you know, get into your energy. Just be aware of that. Just know that the Virgin Mary is with you. You are divinely protected. Just try to stay away from um, people that could be, you know, of negative you know, being, you know, just because you uh, feel like you have a connection to them. This could be toxic family members that are narcissistic that need to be released or a toxic job. All right. If this resonates with you, let me know.